guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm my name. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alice. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my video. My name is Alice, and today I'm gonna be doing this look for y'all. So if you wanna see how I cheat. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Alice. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Today I'm going to be showing you how I did this look guys. If you want to look like this, if you want to look like this, whether you're going out with your girls, you're going out with your man, whether you're having a special occasion at work, whatever the case may be, if you want to see how I did this look, stay tuned and watch this video, okay, and watch it to the very end. I've been wanting to do this video for a very long time. This is my full glam beat. This is the beat that I do when I'm going on dates, when I'm going to um, parties, when I'm going, you know, somewhere special, when I'm going out for dinner with my girls. Um, this is the beat that I usually do. So because I've already done my skincare and it's been a couple of hours, I'm actually going to go in with a primer. I'm going to go in with the NYX. Oh, and also, excuse my chipped nails. We're just not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. I'm acrylic free right now and I tried to put nail polish on my nails and it just wasn't, yeah, it's not working out. But so ignore that. But I'm going in with the NYX Plump Right Back. It's a plumping syrup and primer with electrolytes, apparently. I'm not too sure what the electrolytes does. What's the purpose of them? Because I'm sure it does something, you know. They wouldn't just put electrolytes in a product for no reason. So I'm sure there's some sort of purpose to it but yeah I just put that all over my face so now that my face is primed I'm going in with the benefit precisely my brow pencil I saw this one MUA use this on Patricia Bright years ago and I loved the look of it and I never like I, I got it straight away and those were the days when like youtube like tutorials makeup makeup tutorials on youtube was still such a big thing i still buy this pencil because you know when you really just like something i just really like this pencil it's been very difficult for me to find like a cheaper alternative to this so if anyone knows anything let me know i also tried hooders and hooders one kept breaking i don't know if it's because i had like maybe a bad like I got a bad pencil or that's just what it does I have no clue um but hood abuse pencils just kept breaking for me um but I like this I just use light strokes because my eyebrows are quite thick already so I don't need a lot I just kind of use it to fill in the gaps I do do my brows by myself, which is why they always look like a hot mess. I can't stand getting my brows um, threaded. It's just too painful for me. And I've never gotten my eyebrows done any other way. But now, obviously, I just kind of use, like, the razor and, you know, I just shape it up. And sometimes I'll get scissors and cut it up, cut it up, but, you know, trim my eyebrow hairs. But that's literally all that I do because I just always know that regardless at the end of it I'm gonna have like makeup on and I'm gonna like shape them anyway. Next I'm going to be concealing the brows with the Too Face concealer in the shade Chai. I like this concealer. This is like was a cult favourite for a while I would say. I feel like right now the cult favourite is the Hourglass Concealer. 
tried it and because I just keep seeing TikToks about it I am like in the mood to kind of try it but yeah I like the ball in this way like you can't go wrong with it there's quite a few shades it's good consistency and it just it does what it needs to do you know it's a step up from LA girl LA pro girl was that what it was called yeah it's like a step up from there so what can you do I like how it looks on my skin I like how my makeup does look afterwards and I go in with the darker concealer instead of going in with the lighter concealer like we used to because I think it just gives me like a better finish and a better look overall so when I'm obviously looking or wanting to look a bit more glam I do go in with a lot more concealer and I take it down to my eyelid if you can see and what I do is I don't put more concealer but I just take a dab of this so I put it on my eyelid like so I go in with my Real Techniques brush brush I need to learn how to speak and then just dab that concealer in nothing worse than having a runny nose when you're putting on makeup I go in with my Real Techniques brush brush I need to learn how to speak and then just dab that concealer in like so and then what I've been doing to kind of help colour kind of pop on my eyelids like I have very fitted eyelids so whenever I put eyeshadow I feel like I do have to bring the eyeshadow up quite high so you can see it um so what I've also kind of done to help in that process is I've started putting my Laura Mercier powder on top now I think the professional thing to do is to actually just get eyeshadow primer but who's got time for that not me but if I had eyeshadow primer that would have been the perfect base for this or I'm pretty sure there's like eyeshadow that you can actually just use as a base I'm just gonna go in with my powder honestly like going out until god knows what time staying out till god knows what time coming back home being hungover or getting sick because you went out without a jacket is just not a vibe anymore like it's almost not feeling worth it believe it or not and i can't believe i'm saying this out of all the people somebody asked me what age i'll stop going out and i said never <laughs> because i said why why would i why would I stop going out because I'm 50? But my, not because like I'm such a party girl, but I'm just like, I wanna enjoy my life until I'm old and wrinkly and cannot walk anymore. So if I'm 55 and my friends want to go out out, why would I say no? And I think I'm gonna switch up today and I'm gonna do a bit of color. I haven't used this palette in a long time. It's actually the Bratz palette from Revolution and it's the Sasha one. If my friends or if there's like a special occasion or if I'm in the mood to go out, I don't see why I can't just because I'm 55. But what I won't be doing is going out without a jacket now. It's just not worth it. Just for the fit. No, thank you. I need to be warm because trying to recover from a cold is just crazy. It's a lot of work and it's really inconvenient when you have work and like can't take days off or like right now I, I feel like I'll just be taking the piss if I took some days off unless I'm honestly absolutely sick but I've not even worked like a full week of work this week and if I was to now start taking one day off it would be a bit mad and I'll come back and have a lot of work to do so I don't feel like it's worth it. That's like another thing as well when you get older, like pulling sickies like or calling in sick just because you don't feel like it. Like I feel like I do less of that now and I like really think about it because I'm like, okay, if I pull in sick, yeah, I get to do nothing all day and probably that would be fun for like the first three, four hours of the day. But then 
one, I'll get, I get bored having nothing to do, and two, there's just going to be a bunch of work and a bunch of emails and a bunch of things I'll have to sort out the next day. It just almost doesn't feel worth it anymore, dare I say it. Whereas before, I was that type of person, you wouldn't even have to tell me. If you told me, let's call in sick and like go shopping, I wouldn't even think about it. I'd be like, bet, say no more. And put on my little voice and pretend as if I'm ill. All right, so I can't really give much guidance on eyeshadow. So, which is why I'm just waffling right now because I don't think I'm that good at eyeshadow. Like it, it switches and it changes like my techniques and what I do, like it changes all the time. And half the time I'm winging it. Half the time I've got no idea what colours go together, I just kind of just do something, you know, but as long as it's like blended out in the end, I think is all that matters with eyeshadow, but don't take those words for gospel, okay, and then when you have nasty eyeshadow, you're now coming in my comments talking about, you told us to do this, <laughs> just blending, 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 this is it. I kind of just don't let myself get do too much. And I like that. I like that. I have been also underpainting. So I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer again. But this time I'm going in the shade Warm Sand. So this is, this is the lightest shade that I've got. And I just... Literally do what I would normally do if I was, um, if I had foundation on and everything like that. And I've been using the Rare Beauty Concealer Stick and this is in the shade Bronzer. No, wait, this is in the shade... I don't know what shade this is, actually. I don't know what shade it is, but this is the shade... I like my bronzer very warm very very warm and again i put it on my face as if i've got makeup on as you can see and i did actually get a new brush i got a new brush from refi i really like it and i understand the hype around this brush i do i get it like it's just it's a cool brush to use it just does something. Oh, and don't judge me about the state of my makeup brushes. I have been needing makeup brushes for the longest time. I'm not one to leave my concealer on to like marinate like other people. As soon as I put it on, I'd like to just blend it out. I'll be so real. In fact, this next pair, that's what I should have bought myself for Christmas. New makeup brushes. I was running around buying skim a skims top for twenty five pounds that I ended up returning instead of buying myself a makeup like makeup brushes that I actually need and could use every day. I make the wildest faces when I'm doing my makeup as well, honestly. And the more I record myself, the more that I notice. I'm just always like... Like, I'm just always doing something. <laughs> and I always, like, if I can think about it, I always just tell myself, relax your face. Relax. <laughs> I have been using the... Oh my gosh, it looks so dusty. Oh, this looks so dusty. But that's how you know I've actually been using it. And, you know, this isn't, like, fake promo. But I've actually been using the Dior foundation. And I like the coverage. I don't like the shades too much. But I remember when I wanted to try it, I think foundation had just gotten so expensive. And I just wanted, like, a foundation that was kind of still good and affordable and this was 26 pounds at the time um but i think i want to go back to nars i think i think yeah or try pat mcgrath because that's black owned 
okay period per and i've been mixing it with the yves saint laurent tint foundation face tint and this is like a slightly lighter color i just do a very thin line on where i've put the dior i just go around it very thinly like so and i'll just get a bit closer as well so you guys can see what's going on so now with my new refi brush probably the newest freshest brush i have this is my second time using it and then i'm just going to go in like in a circular motion like that with the brush and what i like about both the skin tint and the foundation is that a little goes a long way so i don't have to put too much because i don't like a caked face and sometimes i'll see people's makeup i'll be like oh my gosh like i want my makeup to look like that my makeup literally never looks like that but i've realized this because i just don't cake my face and i don't every time i go and try and cake my face i just can't and i just thought you know it's fine i'll just do what's meant for me you know if i'm not meant for a cake face i'm just not meant for a cake face and this is the base i'm gonna go in with warm sand again and i'm just going to Dot here, dot there, dot here, dot there, and dot there. Just like that, not too much, just a little. And then I like to try and keep, so when I do that dot, I like to do the outer dot first and go inwards, so I'm not spreading the concealer up. Um, and I'm keeping my face kind of like the same because when you spread it up your when you spread your concealer up I think that makes your face wider but I want my face to be quite narrow and just look you know chiseled so I try work from the outside inwards and just tap in like I don't go like that I don't do I just tap just tap right there but I'm sure those are things that you know about if you didn't know. And I'm actually almost done. I'm going crazy. I'm going to go in with my Kevin Aquan. The Sensational Skin Enhancer Concealer. And this is in the shade 11. I saw, I think it was it Yasmin... The makeup girl Yasmin on TikTok used this and she used it when she was recreating one of Kim K's looks on a red carpet and her face was just beat and they used Kevin Aquan and I saw that and I said wow say less Yasmin girl you use that on your face and that's what it's looking like and it's Kevin Aquan say no more I'm getting Kevin Aquan too and I went to um where did I get it from? space nk and i got it i don't use it too much because it's very thick um but it's a nice coverage it's very like nice thick full coverage but a little goes a long way but because it's very thick and you don't need a lot it has lasted me quite a while which i'm happy about when does it actually expire 18 months i'm pretty sure i've had this longer than 18 months but it's it's okay. Did you know that makeup actually expires? Did you know that? It does. So if I was you, I'd be using that makeup. Put your makeup on, girl. You know when people are like, I just don't put makeup on. Why? Put makeup on and go do something with yourself, you know? Like, makeup should be fun. If makeup isn't fun for you, then yeah, I get why you don't put makeup on. But honestly, like, Putting my makeup on, doing it is so fun and enjoyable to me. And I love seeing the process. I love seeing myself transform into um, the baddie that I am. Next, I'm going to go in with the Hula 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 
hula is it hula well it's benefit hula toasted um bronzer another like cult favorite right here which i think definitely works and definitely does what it's supposed to do i love it that's still my first one and i've hit the pan but i'm still going like it's still going strong there's still a lot of product there and i just go in i'm very like blasé about my bronzer i don't like strategically post it like that i just go in i just con no i'm very blasé about how i contour not the bronzer itself i just kind of put where i need a bit of dark shadow when be done with it you know that might be wrong but it's definitely what works for me well I'll probably get very particular on my nose and that's about it but even then like I kind of stopped contouring my nose because I was like kind of having this body just like face dysmorphia from contouring my nose like if I couldn't make my nose look as skinny as I wanted it to it was low-key a problem and I would like not be feeling myself and I wouldn't be feeling my face and I would just have like an issue with how I looked and then I'd be like oh gosh like, I want to get no surgery and I want to get this done and I want to get that done or should I get filler in my nose so for the sake of my mental health I had to stop contouring my nose which sounds again I feel like a bit crazy but it's just something that I had to do because I was just so obsessed with trying to make my nose look skinny. And when I felt like it wasn't skinny enough, I just felt like my makeup wasn't good enough. So that's why I don't even try to put too much effort into like trying to contour as much. I just kind of do what I need to be, what needs to be done. Like this, just that there looks fine to me now. And I'm kind of over that stage, but you know you, you can very get e you can very easily get back into old habits so i'm taking my little triangle puff and i'm just gonna again further pat that makeup in and i know a lot of people have been using this puff just for powder but for me i do like to just get it to blend also and i think it just yeah it does a good job in blending out my makeup overall and i'm just gonna blend it a little bit more there so now we're at this stage when things are still a bit wet or a bit moist and i haven't put powder on i do go in with a setting spray right now i'm using the l'oreal palette paris infallible setting spray and i'll be so real with you this spray doesn't do what it's supposed to do and i'm just using it right now because i need to get rid of it okay i need the space um but i'll go in with any setting spray usually I go in with MAC. And then now the fun part, blush. I've been using the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Love. This is my favorite blush of all time. My only criticism, my only criticism is that this blush dries fast you have to dot your face and then you have to rub it in immediately do not let this dry because otherwise it will not move okay and a little goes a long way you see how i've just done one dot that is like enough for me and i even go like this like i take the excess off and then i dot and then i just go in quick but yeah, it's a very subtle, subtle, subtle blush. And this is why I like it so much. I'm not into like the loud, bright blushes. Like, you know, like the Made by Mitchells. I'm not really into that. But it works for other people. And I know you can still kind of mute that eyeshadow, that blush. But for me, like, I just love subtle. I love a soft glam. That's just me to the core that's my personality i'm going in with the other end of the refi brush and just going in on where i contoured there and making sure that's all blended and i really like this bottom brush here i'm not too sure what it's for but i really like it 
And then my other favorite step, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier. Again, another cult favorite. Tried the Huda. Huda was not for me. I didn't like it. People love it, but I personally didn't like it. But the trick with your powder when you use a puff, you get it on your puff like that. And then you tap the excess on your hand just so you have a little bit. And then you go in just like that. That's the key. And I think Whitney taught me that. And then that just helps you, like, set your face so much better than when you have, like, excess powder. And then, obviously, if you want to, like, bake, you can get more powder and just bake it on there. But that is what I do. I just press. I don't bake as much i bake if i know like oh it's gonna be a heavy day like i'm gonna be wearing this makeup for a little bit and i'm gonna be going up and down and i can sweat then i'll bake but if i know i'm kind of just going to one place i'm gonna be sitting down i'm not gonna be doing too much i just tap my powder in and then obviously I'll just put it in the key areas we'd want to highlight. In the middle, get it on the brows a bit, because sometimes you know you can get like oil there. And then just tap, 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 tap. And then depending on my mood, this is literally just depending on my mood, I might put my powder there. But that's just depending on my mood, depending on how I feel. If I'm feeling a bit crazy, feeling a bit wild, I'll put it there. And then I leave that, I let that sit for a bit. And then I put the excess everywhere else. But yeah, this is what we're looking like, guys. So in the meantime, I do just go back in with my eyeshadow brush that I used earlier on and just put eyeshadow at the bottom there. And then that's when the weird faces starts coming out again. But I feel like I have to. I don't know how to not do it without pulling a face. And this is just excess eyeshadow. I don't dip in and get more. Sometimes I do, but I just use the excess and it's always fine. It's like more than enough. Comes out. And then just try and then join it there at the, in the bottom to where I left off. I don't know if you can see that. So that it's not like a weird kind of that. But yeah. And then I do all like the other little fun stuff like putting brow gel. Again, my brow gel is the precisely my brow it's the brow gel that goes with my brow pencil um i just think they just both go hand in hand and now i won't be able to stop looking at myself because i'm just like so <sighs> people are so lucky to know me <laughs> why do i come up with these oh, gosh i'm conceited i got a reason I look too good for this necklace. Miraculous <laughs> phenomenal. I wish I could play that song, but I'll get a copyright. So I'm just bopping to it in my head. <laughs> I'm just bopping to it in my head. So I'm conceited. I got a reason. <laughs> I'm conceited and I. Listen, we all have a reason to be conceited, okay? you got to believe in your source. I think ultimately that's what makes you agree. Believing in your source, believing in your what you've got going on, walking tall, having confidence, all of that. that is, that's what gives you the ultimate slay. Just going in with... This is like an eyeshadow palette. Um, This is a Morphe palette. I'm just going in with a shade that's similar to my blush and just put in some more colour back in the face because sometimes after you've powdered etc etc you need to just 
bring a bit more colour back to the face. You feel me? Go in with the MAC fix it magic radiant spray sometimes i do get the original i think this one was just on offer but i like the way that mac makes my makeup kind of look a bit dewy but not too like dewy wet look it just gives it like a little natural glow and whilst my face is still a little bit wet i go in with the finisher the charlotte tilbury flawless powder whether I'm doing a full glam, a little glam, just concealer and blush, or just even concealer, I will never not use this powder. This powder has a choke hold on me, and it does exactly what it needs to do. Now, I get this powder in the shade too, because I love a bright under eye. That's what I'm about, and I feel like this makeup just helps this makeup, this powder just helps put everything together. It just brings everything together and it just completes the look. I don't know. I did first see Kyra Omanique using this and I think she got influenced by Elias Face and their friends. And I love Elias Face and I love Kyra Omanique. So it's just, you know, three girls influencing each other somehow. I don't know if that makes sense, but I love them, and it's like my favorite. It, like in my head, I'm friends with them too, so it's just like three it girls, you know, slaying together and using the same things, <laughs> you know. And I can like because I got the same shade as them. Like I can borrow their powder, and they can borrow my powder, and we can, you know, if we all did our makeup together, we we'll, wouldn't have a problem because you know we're basically the same people and yeah once I've done that step again I go in with my real techniques brush and I just blend I just blend in the areas I think that needs to be blended out areas that might have harsh lines areas that like look a bit patchy and I just want to tap in the makeup as much as possible so there's not a lot of like trans well there's still going to be transfer but just trying to minimise that as much as possible and just tap everything in. And then you'd hope that setting spray just locks everything in place and locks things together. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, I had to change my top and I had to put earrings in because this, I feel like it's just a piece to resistance. Is that the saying? Um, and I kind of want to take some pictures for IG, like just a new headshot with the new hair, new attitude, new mindset, new me. Like I'm going to be unrecognisable this year. And I just think this is just like, this is, this is giving grown. This is giving sophisticated. This is giving you, th this is giving, I'm a, I'm a girl you don't mess with. Whether you have big lips, small lips, medium lips, you got to line those lips, okay? And my go-to favourite, again, is NYX. It's affordable, it's good, it lasts very long, and I just always use the same shade brown. So I just go it. I don't really have a technique. I just follow my lip line, literally. I hope you can see that to the best of your ability. But I've lined my lips now and I'm going to go in with both of my favourite combinations ever, known to man. So this is the Huda Beauty lipstick, probably the only thing from Huda Beauty that I like makeup wise. Um, and this is in the shade Hustler. I saw that Hodo girl using Huda Beauty lipstick and I fell in love and I'm I, I'm not actually a lipstick girl um this is the first lipstick I've ever had and like I said I saw her makeup I saw her lip I saw her face I saw everything and I said I need everything on your everything on your face everything that you've got on I need it now so it's a really like creamy lipstick and I'm just putting it in the middle and then just dabbing just a little bit there in the middle and I'm just doing like a small 
kind of little dab because I don't want to blend too much of the liner actually I want just I people need to see that there's liner on there you know it doesn't need to blend and then my next all-time favorite combo is the butter gloss in NYX and this is in the shade Madeline and if I don't do the lipstick I'll do this lip gloss and then on very special occasions such as today I do both again I just put that in the middle right there it's almost the same shade and just a little and then at the very end as always I go over with a little bit of gloss just a little bit because you know we want we want the stars to be able to see the lips okay and I just brush on a little bit this is a lip a clear lip gloss from Kika just a little bit and I just put it in the middle so it kind of like bounces like the light and the gloss like just bounces on certain angles of the lips if that makes sense oh god guys I can't even stop looking at myself like <laughs> people are so you're so lucky to know me Everyone who knows me in real life, you, you're you so blessed and so lucky. But um, yeah, guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making this video, funnily enough. It was actually really fun just talking and doing my makeup. Um, so yeah, if you want more looks, I don't know what else I can actually do for you because this is the face that I will continue to do, but I will try my best and get more videos like this out for you. If this is something that you like, if you enjoyed this, let me know. You have to like, comment and subscribe. 